Hey guys, it's Sheepy, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're talking about the big burly boy, the heavy. Heavy, my goodness. The class that I've been playing a ton as of recently. The last three to four months, I've been playing some medic, but I've been playing a lot more heavy. Heavy is a class that, oh my goodness, he's just so much fun to play, and a lot of people overlook heavy. So today, we're taking an in-depth look, meeting the heavy and saying, who really is he? So let's first of all, what, who is the heavy, okay? He's a guy who can take on most of what you can throw at him. He's got a big burly gun, he's got a large health pool, and he's just a tank. And being a tank is very helpful because when you have classes like Scout and even Spy who sort of kind of weave in, in and out and get certain kills or certain picks or are on the sidelines, you need something that really takes the frontal damage. Soldier can do a pretty good job at it, Demo's kind of far off, NG's with his building, but you need something that can really get in there. Medic can heal, but really isn't supposed to be in there all that often, so you need a tank. A tank that can deal with things, that can really nail the situation, and that's Heavy. Heavy has his minigun, he's got a lot of bullets, and he's just very resourceful. If you've ever watched Meet the Heavy video, which I recommend you do, it's a video that shows the following characteristics. First of all, Heavy he might not be the smartest tool in the shed. He might not be as next to as smart as Medic or Engineer, but what he makes up in his brain cells, he has in bullets. <laughs> then again, he also loves his gun. His gun's name is Sasha, and a tip for you, don't touch Sasha. Oh my god, who touched Sasha? Alright. Who touched my spaghetti? <laughs> Sasha is the gun he absolutely loves. Along with Sasha, he's just a guy who wants to take on the entire team. What a hero. What a teammate. So if you ever play it heavy, you'll notice a few things right off the bat. While he might be able to take on the characteristics of a tank, he also is a tank, meaning he moves very slowly. And if you've ever played a lot of maps and a lot of matches with Heavy, you'll notice a very defining feature. He's supposed to be the strongest class in the game, yet, ironically, he can be picked off by some of the weakest classes in the game. Scout, for example, if he's jumping around you getting meat shots, it only takes about 4 or 5 meat shot shots and you're done. If he gets a critical hit, you're even done even quicker. So is Heavy technically broken? Well, I wouldn't say so, because Heavy does have a lot of features. His miniguns offer a variety of situational differences, like you can use a Helong heater if you're moving off and next to the cart. You could use a Natasha if you're going after scouts who are just bothering you too much. You could use the Tomislav if you want to be more accurate in your shots versus more damage. You could use the Brass Beast if you don't care about movement but care more about damage. There's a lot of options there. The only problem with all these options is that they don't really give Heavy a specific tool. There's a lot of situational tools, but there's not necessarily a general tool, which is why most people either use the Tomislav or they'll use the regular stock minigun. Then you look at secondaries. Heavy shouldn't really have a lot of secondaries, so the secondaries that most people use is either the Locust Bar to give an extra boost, or the second banana or sandwich. Both of those are personal favorites. I like the sandwich because it's a bit OG, but the second banana is pretty darn effective. There's other weapons like the family business and the regular shotgun, but no one really used those. Minigun should be your primary source of damage, and that's what most heavy mains will say. I even asked one of my friends, who has over 100 hours in heavy, and really all he uses is a minigun. No surprise. He has a really cool loadout, and if you don't know his name, his name is Hoovy Bear. He's provided a lot of really cool heavy ideas for me and my friends. Same with St. Frosty, but those are two different people. Anyways, next to the secondary and the primary, you have the weapons he can use when he runs out of ammo. That would be the Fist of Steel, if you want to not take as much damage and want to be able to, you know, run away as fast as possible. If you want to run faster than slower and you want to make that movement speed increase, you could use the Gloves of Running Urgently. 
The problem with that, and one that's been pointed out by many of my friends, is that it takes health off of you, and you're not going to be using it that often, so it's really not that effective. I don't really know why Valve ever changed it to where it would drain your health. I think it's a cool idea, but not a very effective idea. Moving on, there's the eviction notice, which if you get a kill, you have a greater sense of moving and a greater speed boost, but again, it's not as effective because it does bleeding damage to you. So not really ideal in the end. You're probably just getting, getting out there with either a teleporter or a speed boost by the soldier. And then the other weapons are just not that helpful because they don't offer you any great boost. I technically use the gloves of uh, boxing or the boxing gloves because they don't really have any serious downfalls other than it takes about a little longer to holster. So you're kind of gambling with heavy. There's not a lot of options. So if you're losing in a match, you'll typically find that if you don't have a coordinated team, heavy doesn't do very well because it takes a good team to be able to handle an enemy team so that your minigun can do serious damage. If everyone's able to focus on you or backstab you, you're really going to find a hard time being useful or even successful. So with heavy being the strongest class in the game, yet somewhat the, the weakest, it's really tough for him to have a good play in any TF2 game. But that's where the heavy mains really take him farther and really do what they can to make him accessible and applicable in every single match. Anyways, that's all I have to really talk to you today about Heavy. Let me know what you really think about Heavy. Why do you main Heavy? Why do you play Heavy? Why don't you play Heavy? Thank you so much to Hoovy Bear and St. Frosty, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Peace.